पंद्रह सौ प्री लोडेड गानो वाला की पैड फोन धमाकेदार साउंड के साथ कारवा मोबाइल हाई दिस इज उत्कर्ष उत्कर्ष पटेल एंड वेलकम टू अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ स्टोरीज स्टोरीज फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड कल्चर्स रीजन्स एंड सिविलाइजेशन देर आर मिथ्स एंड देर आर मिथ्स सम आर इंटरेस्टिंग सम गिव अस लेसन सम गिव अस मैसेजेस बट द मिथ ऑफ डायना एंड एक्टिओन is a very disturbing myth just why do people have to suffer for no fault of theirs mythology is replete with examples where characters undergo trials and tribulations for no fault of theirs but this one seems to be very different diana also known as artemis sometimes was the virgin goddess of hunting and wildlife from an early age she had decided to remain a virgin and thus as a goddess she remained unattached and also at times worshiped as the goddess who protected girls who had not attained puberty actaeon was the son of king cadmus and was at the peak of his youth he was brave and strong and was fond of hunting once he led a hunting expedition to the forest with his friends and hunting dogs after a tiring day all of them decided to take some rest Actaeon moved away from the group in search of water. Unknown to him, there was a secret place for Diana, who would come to rest and pamper herself in a beautiful spring. On that fateful day, Diana had just dipped herself in the pool and began to let her attendants take away her clothes. Her bow and arrow and the javelin were parked far away, and Diana had just begun to relax her tired body when Actaeon unknown to the forest landed at the exact spot where she was bathing not used to men her attendants shrieked and all tried to cover the bare body of diana by using themselves as shields but diana was tall and beautiful and the attendants could really not cover her enough actaeon had never seen such divine beauty and even before decency could enable him to shift his gaze Diana threw some of the waters from the spring at him and said he would never be able to tell any mortal what he had just seen. What she uttered was actually a curse and no sooner had she completed her statement Actaeon found himself running away from there. While running Actaeon suddenly grew antlers and from two legs he had gone to four. When he reached a spring he saw his reflection and shouted in disbelief he had turned into a stag but his voice had changed into a call of a stag soon he realized that he had reached close to where he had left his friends and the hunting dogs had unfortunately heard his call his friends started chasing the stag and the dogs were after him unaware that it was none other than their own leader and friend actaeon had now suddenly become the object of the sport that he was leading till a few hours back soon the dogs caught up with him and tore him to pieces without anybody even realizing what had happened and why as i mentioned earlier this is a disturbing myth was actaeon to be blamed for what he saw unintentionally nowhere are his thoughts on what he saw even mentioned did dina act in haste Let us understand the myth slightly better and understand the lesson it tried to impart to the Greeks then. The myth can be interpreted in different ways. This can be seen as the malevolent powers of the feminine power, especially of the one who is the embodiment of chastity. It tells man that the beauty of a female has the power to trap and sometimes lead to ultimate destruction. Such beauty can make the hunter the hunted. even before the hunter realizes it it also serves as a lesson to the wayward not to take the feminine spirit as benign and for granted according to greek mythology stags were associated with spiritual qualities and were supposed to be the favorites of goddess diana here actaeon being changed into a stag seems ironic especially when the very form leads to its destruction by the dogs However, the dogs represent the unconscious lust that is hidden deep inside every man's secret thoughts 
and such thoughts have not spared even those who have sought spiritualism. In Indian, Indian mythology, we see a similar malevolent aspect in goddess Kali. Even in her devastating form, she is referred to as mother. She spares none who have evil in their heart and actions. The all-pervasive benevolent mother changes into a malevolent form in no time and rests only on drinking the blood of the evil. This definitely was one of those disturbing Greek myths. Come back for more of such and different kind of myths. Thank you. अगर तुम मिल जाओ जमाना छोड़ देंगे हम अगर तुम
जो टूटे खुदा से 